Hey guys, it's your time here. I welcome back to another reaction videos, you know. And on today's video, I want to react to the um, SFNF Dark Tale Season Two teaser plus mini trailer here by uh, Tech Search. You know, he requested me that well, I could react to it and then maybe have my own uh, theory for what's gonna happen in Season Two, which should be fun, I guess. You know, um, and yeah, I guess I'm kind of curious to see where the story will go with uh, Shadow Freddy and with Spring Bonnie as well especially his belief you know which i'm kind of curious to see how that's gonna be explored in the further season you know so without further uh ado let's start the video shall we i'm joined now by william afton co-owner of freddy fazbear's pizza a man who has been closely tied to this franchise since its inception william thank you for speaking with us tonight thank you brent it's hard to find the words right now i can only imagine what you're going through right now how are you feeling after such a tragic loss? Devastated. Henry and I, we put our hearts and souls into Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. This place was more than just a business to us. It was part of our lives, our legacy. To see it like this is heartbreaking. It's clear that this loss goes beyond just bricks and mortar. But William, this isn't the first time you've faced a tragedy like this. Can you remind our viewers mm -hmm. what yep, happened in the last location? Fred Bear's family diner. Fred Bear's family diner. That was our first venture. It was supposed to be a place of joy, just like Freddy Fazbear's. But um, in mm -hmm. late 1982, a tragedy occurred, causing us to shut down in early 1983. There was an incident. A murder investigation that shook the very foundation of what we were trying to build. A security guard, Michael Schmidt, he was found dead. Hmm. A gunshot wound to the head. The investigation cast a shadow over everything that we had worked for, and in the end, we had no choice but to close our doors. We tried to move past it to rebuild, but now here we are again, faced with another loss. There you go. That's the, they're the toy finally coming in, right? Oh, Foxy is still <laughs> kicking ass, obviously. already have all the title huh but um yeah that was the season two teaser you could say that you know um i don't remember if michael smith ever mentioned in the previous episode it's been a long time since i remember the the very first episode of you know dark tales and i think at the at the time the series was a bit more i guess a bit more different because it is new for uh texture himself you know um so we see the toy number 20 coming in you know um i'm kind of curious to see if he's gonna do the exact plot like zangshi does where the Whitner animatronic is, I think they're going to be jealous. I think it's gonna, uh, that's that kind of uh, like an obvious plot point, you know. But I'm sort of curious to see if they're going to fight each other again, you know. Hopefully, not because it's been done to death at this point. Um, but yeah, I think they are going to work together against this shadowy figure, you know. Obviously, Shadow Freddy. We see the place as presumably burning down again, you know. We, either this is like a symbolism where William becoming evil, which I don't think so, because it seems like this version of William Afton is different, you know. Um, and it seems like the place are just burning down, which is gonna lead to season three, which is gonna take place presumably in the fast bear fright, right? Um, so I'm kind of uh, curious to see how they're going to do that, especially if, uh, Spring Bonnie are the main protagonist of this entire show we see foxy kicking ass again you know foxy might be my favorite character in this uh series you know because he, he doesn't take no shit at all you know like if you actually uh threatening him then he will absolutely beat your ass you know and he's about to beat i think this is toy bonnie right yeah they, they get, uh, he got this uh pink cheek right here you know um i think this is toy bonnie not not you know not winter bonnie obviously because winter bonnie is his friends and also there is no face for winter bonnie so <laughs> uh he's about to kick toy bonnie's ass so i think um 
what's going to happen is that maybe the rest of the animatronic is not going to immediately fight the toy animatronic out of jealousy but i think fox is going to be the one that was like mostly feel jealous about the the toy animatronics uh present at this pizzeria which pro presumably lead to this fight and i think foxy is going to want the fight obviously um after that we see foxy and mangle here you know so i think it seems like um i think mangle is gonna be the first time foxy feeling presumably love you know and presumably these two are going to be in a relationship you know because that's like the 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 shipping counters for the fanat fandom you know it's been going on for such a long time at this point and I'm fine with it, you know, because it works, right? Um, and it seems like Mangle might be the voice of reason for Foxy because sometimes Foxy could be like super, like you know, angry and sometimes like letting his emotion take control of his, uh, you know, of his own thoughts essentially. You know, so he basically just let he let his emotion uh, drive him to make certain decision that might not be smart, you know. Um, and I think Mangle might be the voice of reason for Foxy, like, hey, like calm down, let's talk about this, you know. And I wouldn't. And I think these two are going to fall in love. I think it's gonna be obvious here. Foxy seems to feel bad here, you know, based on his face expression, you know. And Mango might be here trying to conf comfort Foxy, you know, for whatever reason it is in the show. Um, I'm not exactly sure who this was, you know. Um, maybe there's gonna be a Shadow Bonnie, a Shadow Bonnie version, right? Because like that is Shadow Freddy and that is Shadow Bonnie. Um, Shadow Freddy is the main bad guy. Obviously, we get to see the ignited animatronics in in the the first season. So I'm curious to see if it, if it is going to be a Shadow Bonnie figure here. Um, and I'm, I'm really curious to see if there's going to be some uh, duality with uh, Spring Bonnie's personality, you know? Like, I'm assuming maybe there's going to be a Spring Bonnie personality, which is the nice one. And then there is the Spring Trap personality, which is the evil one. That would be interesting if that's going to be explored in this season, you know? Which again, might lead up to Season 3 because I am super curious to see that maybe again... I'm assuming that the place is going to burn down again and I think uh, Fazbear Fred is going to be born 30 years in the future just like the game was, right? Um, and then we get to see Springtrap in Season 3. Um, but so, I, but I'm really curious to see if there's going to be some duality storyline with Spring Bonnie here, you know? Because it seems like he has this belief to not kill anybody, you know? It seems like, I don't know what this rat on his mouth here, is this like a mistake or is this, is this actually blood? maybe I, i'm not sure like maybe this is just the the color that that was wrong in the animation or this is actually meant to be blood so i don't know if this were meant to be blood then he presumably he bites someone <laughs> that would be whoa okay that was dark um but maybe this is just a, a a lighting mistakes maybe i don't know um oh no never mind i think this is blood right yeah this is blood never mind <laughs> it focuses on that for a split second yeah it's blood <laughs> okay so he kills someone presumably in this show and i think that might be creating this duality storyline you know, between him trying to be nice or uh succumbing to the evilness of himself maybe you know because spring trap is gonna be born somehow right um we see them the animatronic outside of it of the pizza right which is interesting and this is i think this is mangle right and golden freddy tried to reason with mangle or something like that which is okay i don't know what's happening yet to the story you know um we get to see michael smith again you know i don't think we see michael in the the previous episodes right i think i unless i'm forgetting some thing uh some stuff uh because it's been a while man and i feel like i <laughs> yeah i i'll be honest here you know obviously i'm gonna be following some of the smfnf series you know like zen 37 and i guess dark tales uh smfnf you know um but yeah i'll try my best to follow this series you know i think ibs fm is going to release a new episode you know sometime later for the smfnf old memories you know that is one series that i really miss you know so hopefully there's gonna be some new episodes that, that's about to be released so we'll see about that you know um but yeah so we got all these um eight episodes here ashes new pizzeria new, uh, same shadows okay a world apart no exception lone wolf um the massacre of 1982 okay so episode six, episode six is gonna be obviously entirely the flashback you know killers which is with really nice, an kind of interesting uh and then the breaking point so i think again i'm assuming breaking point means that uh, again back with my uh duality plot point with spring bonnie here it might be some good version of him and some evil version of him because i think it was kind of explored with his um with his ideals and belief for not killing anyone and i feel like episode hey breaking point might be about spring bonnie finally breaking his point and becoming super evil you know becoming super like 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 spring trap essentially and that eventually 
led to season 3 where we get to the Fazbear Fright location and we get to see him maybe as the main villain or he's still gonna remain as the main character which is interesting and then it's gonna be about him trying to deal with his both sides in a way so it was I think quite interesting for that to follow you know um but yeah I guess that's my theory and my reaction for uh you know uh the SF that's my final dark tales you know I think it's just, it's a quite interesting um where the series the series is going to go you know uh, I'm glad that Dark Test actually mapping out the episodes already, so it's gonna be another eight episodes in the future, you know. Um, but again, thank you for notifying me, Dark Test, because again, I was focusing, uh, I was focusing more on my second channel called Ezra Review, you know, because that's where my passion go now for making movie reviews or discussing some games in a way. Uh, and just talking about them, you know, just reviewing stuff, you know, I love them so much, you know, and that's what I was been focusing on for a long time. Um, I came back to this channel occasionally if Zen 37 are dropping a new episodes or Dark Tales has a new episode, you know, and I ca I'm kind of waiting for now for ABSFM uh, new old memories episodes because apparently it's still in development, uh, development, so we have to wait and see when it's going to be dropped, you know, maybe in a far future, who knows, you know, um, it's been a year since we see anything from old memories, which is insane, you know, um, but um, yeah, um, I guess that's my uh, reaction and breakdown for the season 2 teaser, I mean the trailer, you know, so let me know guys in the comment section below what do you guys think about this trailer right here, you know, what are your own theories for season 2, you know, um, and if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you guys, you know, bite that subscribe and like button guys, share the videos to show stuff, and make sure you guys check my second channel called Ezra Review, the link will also be in the description below you know and also i will leave uh, the link for this video on the de description below if you just want to check it out yourself you know um and subscribe to text search as well you know why not you know subscribe to my second channel but also subscribe to text search as well you know show him some support you know because uh he really wanted to continue this series you know and it seems like it's gonna be a pretty big series maybe in the future who knows you know um but I like it, you know, but at the same time, I like it that it doesn't necessarily feel like a grand series like Xenia 37, but it feels like a small contained storyline with some clear uh, vision where it's going to go, you know, there's eight episodes, you know, which is not that long for a season, you know, so I think that's a, that's a really good thing in my opinion, you know, because I feel like I I have my big, uh, I've been following some big as well enough series, you know, so I think it's nice to have this Dark Tale series, they're just focusing more on the... Uh, I guess the smaller plot in a way, you know, which I, I'm assuming is going to get bigger as it goes, but at the same time, uh, it's really nice to see uh, a new SM Final series that's still uh, focusing on small uh, storytelling, you know, with that, like, yeah, you can make some theories on it, but at the same time, you kind of know where it's going to go at least, you know, so I think that's a good thing, you know, um, but yeah, even though I know that Dark Touch is not exactly new, but, you know, um, either way, that's my uh, reaction and review for Dark Touch Season 2, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one then. Bye!